In this video, I want to cover using dictionaries in order to count words in a sentence. Now, uh, you may be thinking, well, uh, if I want to be able to do this, I can actually import uh, some libraries or modules to help, you know, kind of create this function and just make it uh, pretty much a one-liner in order to get that count. Um, but today, the focus is going to be around using the, you know, base data structures within Python in order to achieve this. So um, let's start with a sentence, which is in reality just a large string of text. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do in my sentence is actually split it up into different words, into its, its own words, excuse me. So I'm going to say sentence equals sentence dot split. And so what the split method does is that at every space, by default, right, unless you uh, specify another character, at every uh, space of the sentence, uh, it's going to create, it's going to capture it as a individual string, essentially our words. So if I go ahead and take a look at that and run it, I'm going to see that I have my sentence split into a list. A horse is a horse, comma. So, wow, I want to stop right there because, you know, words don't necessarily consist of commas, right? So I'm going to want to do some kind of error uh, handling here. And I'm going to type in the, re I'm going to chain in, excuse me, the replace method. And so essentially, I'm going to say for every comma that I find, just go ahead and replace it with a blank space. And so if I run that now, I see that I get rid of the commas. But another thing to consider, though, as I'm counting my words, um, I'm going to you know want to deal with case statement or excuse me, uh, case, the the case of a letter. So uh, upper case letters don't evaluate the same as lower case letters. Uh, so one thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm also going to want to chain in my lower method. It can be lower or it can be upper, depending on how you want your words represented, upper or lowercase. But doing this is going to convert all my letters to lowercase. So let's just go ahead and quickly run that. And now I have all my uh, words in lowercase form. Great. Now the next thing that I want to do is um, actually iterate through my sentence. Uh, but before I do that, uh, let's go ahead and create a dictionary. A blank dictionary in fact and I'm gonna name it WC for word counter and now I'm gonna iterate through my sentences I'm gonna say for word in sentence and the next steps may not sound too logical so just bear with me but basically I'm gonna check if my word in is in yeah, my one of my dictionary keys oops here we go then I'm going to say dictionary for that word or the key of that word excuse me uh, I'm gonna add one to it right uh, else I'm gonna say that this this is a new key for that word and I'm gonna set it to one so the logic may be uh, you know kind of a little backwards as you as you you know compared to how you think about it in your mind but essentially I'm checking that uh, for that word in these in the keys of this dictionary here uh, this blank dictionary which presumably would not have the word right uh, so if the, but if the word exists right add one to it but since most words are not going since no words are going to exist at the very beginning uh, we're going to go ahead and add that uh, at you know on the onset with this else statement so basically we're saying um, you know if word in keys then just go ahead and add it if it's already in this dictionary otherwise uh, set that key equal to one, right? And so since every word, every new word is going to essentially evaluate under this else statement, and we're gonna set it to one initially, the second time around, as it comes through, we're gonna add one to it. And that is essentially our counting function. So like now, when we print our dictionary, we're able to see that A got counted three times, horse got counted four times, is got counted three times, and so on. Uh, from our sentence up here. So that is uh, in effect how you are able to leverage the Python You know just the base Python data structures uh, In order to create a word counter just on all on your own without importing any special libraries I hope the, this concept um, and this video is you know helpful to you and then kind of helps spark some ideas in terms of how to use Dictionaries and loops and all that other good stuff uh, So thank you very much for watching